The automobile is a space hog and the rest of us pay the price. Look at it. There is a demonstrated need for much wider sidewalks. Why? Because it's 10 people wide having to walk in the street. I'm standing here at West 34th and 7th Ave and it is just an unpleasant place to be. We had a hard time finding a place to stand to just even talk. And just think about it, there are people every day just have to go through this crush of humanity. And you'd say, okay, New York's a big city, it's got a lot of people. But the reason it is so crowded here is not because there's not enough space, it's because we give all of our space to the least spatially efficient form of transportation available. The people that are here, most all of them got here on mass transit. This is a mass transit crowd. It's a mass transit place. It's a mass transit city. We're here near Penn Station. We're here near the subway. There's great accessibility to this location. Right now, the explicit policy of the city that has accumulated over a hundred years of policy making decisions is to consciously try and promote automobile usage and suppress human activity because there is a fight for space. You got little kids. Think about what it's like being a little kid. It's not just the cars, it's the people you're going to get stepped on. As a parent, it's not even safe to bring your kids here just because it's so crowded. We've made our streets hostile, toxic places for people. Do you think anyone likes walking in the middle of 7th Avenue with all this nasty traffic and the honking and the buses and the danger? People don't want to do that. They're doing it because they're forced to do it. As a society, we tolerate this. We tolerate incredibly crowded, dangerous conditions. What we have here can be fixed in a day with action from the DOT like we saw over in Herald Square. These sidewalks can be wired. If you can just put out some temporary cones as a start, paint the ground, a few barrels, a few planters, bam! It doesn't have to be like this because we have made a decision as a society to try and cram as many cars onto our streets as possible. It is very easy to make policy decisions that get rid of the cars. However much space we will give to cars, they will take. People will selfishly take it because we give it to them. Right here in the middle of New York City, if you had 16 lanes, you'd have 16 lanes of cars. If you have two lanes, you have two lanes of cars. It is that simple.